Hello guys, welcome back to our City Skylands region of Coniferia. In the previous episode, or most recent episode, uh, we built what we are uh, currently looking at some cinematics of. We uh, created this big countryside area between the town of Tagfield and the city of Pine Harbor. And as you guys can see, we added some uh, suburban developments of uh, very different types and styles as well. Um, the idea here was to represent um, uh, an evolution of the countryside, a countryside that is uh, slowly but surely being eaten up by a suburban sprawl um, as the nearby towns and cities continue to grow outwards uh, instead of upwards. Um, because uh, here on the mainland of Coniferia, uh, land is relatively cheap and readily available, so developers are buying up farmland to uh, continue the sprawling tendencies of the cities here. This is in contrast to the capital city of Port Douglas that we are building on an island. The geographical restrictions there lead to much higher land value uh, and a bigger incentive to uh, build medium and higher density, basically. So as I said, today we're continuing with this uh, countryside slash rural theme. Um, but we're also going to be expanding our sleepy suburb of Danson and adding a much needed train station to that little town. Um, the expansion and addition of a train station to Danson has been uh, requested by quite a few of you. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is where we have Danson located, this small sleepy suburb right where I'm pointing. Um, so it's, uh, it's nestled in between the train tracks that connect the capital city of Port Douglas with uh, Pine Harbor. And if we zoom in, uh, what we can see and what you guys have uh, been commenting on as well is that the train uh, that uh, travels between Port Douglas and Pine Harbor actually, uh, you know, it runs right beside Danson. And I think Danson should have a train station so that it can be better connected, uh, not just with Port Douglas, but also Pine Harbor. This is where the majority of the residents of Danson actually work. Currently, they have a, a single bus line serving the, the town. But I think that to, to really justify a train station in this area, we're going to have to expand on Danson quite a bit to just grow it into a bit of a small town, actually. So I think we're going to start with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just establish a, a small train station and then we'll expand the uh, road network of the town uh, afterwards and uh, make that fit into the train station and, uh, and not the, the other way around. So I'm just looking for a really small station and I think I got one here we can use. So I'm just going to place that down and then we're going to we're going to clear some trees. Uh, kind of approximate the area area sorry where we want to expand the uh, dance on so it's probably going to be something like this and we're going to grab the station and we're just going to align it let's see all right so we want the station to be placed somewhere in this area i suppose or maybe it should be maybe it should actually be up here or down here we got a few options here and i'm i'm looking for some terrain that isn't too steep um, because it's gonna look it's gonna look a little odd if there's a uh, too big of a difference between the the tracks that run through and the actual station we can't we can actually slope the station uh, which is a bit of an issue. It really needs flat ground to be placed. So it might prove to be a bit of an issue if we place it here. Uh, it might just be a better fit up here where we also got some pretty uh, straight tracks. So if we just adjust it to this height. We can connect it here. This will also allow it to connect to these tracks uh, that uh, go north of Pine Harbor and out of the region that way. So that's probably a, a pretty good idea. Now I can see that we've we've actually chosen the wrong tracks. We need gravel, wood, sorry, uh, this one. That is not wired. I'm just gonna place that here. 
that looks about right. I'm going to delete this one. And let's just move this. It comes with a bit of a parking lot, this tra train station. So we'll see if, if we're going to keep that. And we've got this dirty art thing here. <laughs> But I think I think we can live with that. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's a, it's a case of good enough, I'd say. That's not too bad, actually. And the station is, uh, let's see if we can have a look. It's a UK train station, generic one, small station for all your Sims needs. And I, I agree. I think it's a, it's a pretty good fit for, uh, well, Denton's going to be growing now, but generally it is a pretty small town, right? Oops, it was, this was wrong. So I think I'm just going to do a pretty simple, pretty cookie cutter expansion of the uh, road network of, uh, of dancing to kind of highlight that it's uh, it's a little bigger than than currently. We'd like it to be a little bigger. So we're just going to do some really basic. And then I think we could add, we could do well with adding just a bit of variety, seeing if we can grab, looking for some modern ones or perhaps these actually. They will do. They certainly are cookie cutter, but there's nothing wrong with that. That's actually exactly what we need right now, I think. And then I might change this road up a bit to make it uh, be a little more unique compared to the other roads here in Dance and uh, the other suburban roads. I think uh, a development like this, which is a little unique compared to, you know, just your basic uh, single family housing could warrant a bit of a different road. So let's just see if we can grab something let's just use this one uh yeah that certainly wasn't a big change <laughs> um but we can we can we can use some uh, lane intersection marking tool sorry to make it a bit more unique by just adding in a bunch of notes so we got a segment here and a segment here I think that's enough. Then we can use intersection marking tool to add some planters. So I think we should add a school and we're just gonna demolish some stuff. Imminent domain, boys. Goodbye.
That is one basic school. <laughs> and I don't even remember if I did. No, I did. Still haven't really downloaded any uh, cool playground assets, so uh, kids are still out of luck. <laughs> they can play with these stains, I guess. And then just uh, add a lot of foliage, right? That's uh, that's what we do around here. I just uh, we cover it up. We're gonna do some really, really simple detailing. Just adding a few decals there. Uh, but otherwise, we're not really gonna do much to to this uh, to this little duplex uh, part of town. And then I'm gonna just add some pathways in this area. Just uh, it's not gonna be much actual landscaping. Just uh, just some small paths, and I'm gonna see if this two meter is fine or if it's gonna bug out. It's actually pretty good. Okay, cool. guess it would also make sense with some really easy access to the school. There you go. We're using node controller and with, with this network we just need to click uh, at each of the joint nodes and that's gonna fix any, uh, any weird issues we might be seeing. So that's luckily relatively simple. Straightforward even. Cool, let's grab some forest and just uh, cover up the Anton in forests again, this area at least. And then I'm gonna go ahead with some individual trees and, uh, and add those here and there. Because I think I want uh, one type of tree in this, um, this area that's a little different to, you know, the rest of the area basically. So I'm thinking some these tree trunks are pretty cool. Very nice. That was quite the addition to Danson. Now maybe, you know, the, the town size now probably runs a bit more in the sense of commercial development than currently. We've been uh, almost joking a few times now that uh, Danson has a gas station with a, a tiny uh, kiosk and that's about it. <laughs> but I think with this expansion, it's probably more fitting that Danson has a bit, just a bit more going for it. So let's just see if we can add some uh, some basic necessities around town. So we can add a shop here on this corner. And Vic and Bill's Market. Yeah, why not? We'll add that over here. And maybe on this corner we'll have something as well. Let's see what we got. Uh, what's this? Like a little deli, deli uh, tacos? Nah. I don't want it to be super modern. 
but not super old either. So we're just going with this one, I think. Cool. All right, so we've been spending a bit of time <clears throat> expanding, dancing, and uh, detailing up just a bit of, uh, of the, I guess you could call it, downtown area of dancing. Um, some really simple tricks to just add a uh, much uh, higher level of, uh, of detail. Um, Use a lot of decals, a um, bit of uh, an extra parking lot here, and yeah, just a bit of... Um, adding some fillers here with the intersection marking tool adding some extra trees and i just added a bunch of trees um, all around and i think it's turned out quite uh, quite well i i really like this um 80s or 90s uh duplex complex here um yeah and uh the town has uh, grown quite substantially i mean we are uh, we're approaching 500 population and almost 100 jobs Although I do kind of fear that, yeah, that's probably because uh, the amount of workers in these places are just a little too high. Um, honestly, I, I, I'd rather have like half of that for these establishments. Um, I know that they probably have some, you know, full-time and part-time workers, but I don't think that this uh, big and Bill's market with some pits and some grocery stuff um employs nine workers does it i'm gonna go with seven oh, we are it's nitpicking i know but it just seems a little a little too high some of these i'm gonna change this to nine maybe i'm completely wrong but it yeah, just uh, feel it makes more sense um this is a really basic school uh sim city 4 school uh turned out very well as well uh, it's placed in belgium apparently <laughs> interesting stuff um, really simple detailing here so i think it's time that we just uh, connect up the, the train line um i'm not really sure why the train station was added so late um in danton's development but it's it's definitely a more recent one it's from the 80s or so um so uh, so a decision was made um after the, the town was actually established to add rail as well, because I don't think if, if the train station was kind of the first thing that was here, um, I guess, you know, the, the downtown or industrial areas would grow, would grow around the train station on close proximity to it instead of, of what we've got going here. So I think for now, I'm just going to add a stop um, between um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to expand the current line here and add a stop here in, in Danton. Um, but let me know what you guys think, because I was also considering having two uh, separate lines. So one that offers direct travel between the big cities. So that would be Pine Harbor and Port Douglas, Port Douglas and then have a, an additional line that will uh, also go from Port Douglas to Pine Harbor, but will uh, actually make several stops in small urban settlements along the way. Like if we make a new town over here, for instance, or something like that. Let me know what you guys think. I think for now, we're just going to add a stop here uh, for, for the existing line so that it goes through. 
the town. And obviously people are really happy about that. And I've just caught uh, Mr. Walt Jackson here on his bike and he resides at the Hemlock residence. So it's in the central part of uh, Danton. And he works at the train station, so it's uh, pretty easy for him to commute to his job because it's uh, one of the few jobs actually located within Danton. But it's going to be interesting to see um, the people that arrive now and check up on, on what they use the train station for. Uh, this is Winston Young and he resides at the Amity residence. So, oh, that's actually... Uh, down here in, in Pine Harbor, and where does he work? The Ice Cube Factory. Interesting, so yeah, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> he's probably visited someone he knows here in, in Danson. But yeah, he's uh, he wants to go home. Is he gonna pick up his car to go home? Yeah, he is. All right. So, so he, he just parked at the train station parking lot. Didn't wanna use the trains. I mean, fair enough, fair enough. So I'm just uh, waiting to see if I can grab any, uh, you know, if we can see any passengers here. Be interesting to see where they commute to and from. I'd like to know that at least. Okay, so we've got the uh, Earl Young here. Traveling to work and he works in Pine... No, he works all the way over here in Port Douglas near the police station. Cool. And he resides at the Briarwood residence, which is uh, in central Danton. Okay, so we got a commuter here going all the way to Port Douglas for work. Uh, but I guess it's really convenient with the train, actually. And as you guys saw, we got a bunch of people that got off here as well. Um... So that's nice. It seems we've already got quite a bit of activity here at the uh, at the train station. And we've got two trains here at the same time. Cool. All right. So with the, the train station in place, I was thinking that I'd actually like to remove this park entirely and then have sort of a small commercial area here. So if the train station is from the 70s, maybe, yeah, I think that decade is fitting. Then I'd imagine that, you know, it would spur a bit of growth surrounding the station, uh, a bit of commercial establishments here. Uh, because, I mean, our idea is moving forward that we're going to have multiple small towns throughout the region. And if they're smaller than Danson, then in a, in a way, Danson itself could become a place where people uh, commute from even smaller communities to work. Uh, we've already increased the amount of workplaces by quite a bit in this episode so I think that uh, given the, the growth of the town uh, we'll have a small commercial cluster here near the station and that's also gonna draw people in and of course also provide uh, jobs for the, the local residents so I think we're gonna try and center this area uh, around here because I kind of consider this the main road going through Danson uh, at least it cuts in a really straight line uh, into this intersection where you can then head towards Pine Harbor. And here you've got uh, the for now uh, only bus stop and these older commercial places and the school. Um, we're of course going to have to add an additional bus stop down here as we make this expansion. So it's going to be a little tricky in selecting the assets because I don't want them to be uh, too old looking. Um, they uh, were built after the train station was established, uh, not before. And since in this case, we have a bit of an odd case where the train station, where the town predates the train station and not the other way around, uh, we, we're going we're gonna to have to try and, and make that uh, visible in the, the assets we also choose here. And it's really nice to see uh, all the activity at the train station already. It's, uh, it's, it's been a really good decision so far, I think.
And I think we've sort of established the, the scale of this commercial cluster. So it's, it's obviously, it's relatively modern, uh, no real old buildings, a bit of mixture between brick and some prefab stuff. And I think we're going to detail this up um, just a bit so that it stands out. It, it is a, a, a point of interest, I think, compared to, to the rest of Danson, which is pretty cookie cutter. So it, it kind of deserves a bit extra detail. And here we are once again, seeing if we can make a really custom looking parking lot. Because they are just fun to make. Fun and frustrating. We're going to use Bob to remove the trees from this train station. They're sort of starting to get in the way now for the detailing parts. I think we're going to have a little food stand here. Um, at the train station. Then we're going to spawn some people generators or these pack people generators, bringing people to our custom packs. So this is a place you want to go.
and we're just gonna detail up the roads a bit we're certainly doing our part to making this a detailed little area but i think i think that's fair you know detailing up some of the small less uh, significant parts of the region or at least what you'd consider less significant parts of the region you know we're gonna we're gonna show some love to these areas as well so we're gonna add some fillers here to just break up this road segment and of course we're gonna just uh, disable parking here as well but i think we might remove these trees again uh at least remove these two whoops that was unintended there you go i'll just grab on this one and add it to the sensor And I think we got this looking a little odd. Don't think I want this central line. Kind of looks like it's a falling road right now, and it's it's obviously not. But we're gonna copy this template, and then we're gonna add uh, so add some nodes here as well, so that we can paste it and get our filler, and just get a bit of a unique look, really. Doesn't have to make a ton of sense. This is Coniferia, it's all fictional. So they might have some uh, pretty nonsensical road layout rules. <laughs> it's a nice way to cover my my butt, I guess. There you go. I think that's good enough. It's not the prettiest of solutions, definitely not. But uh, I think for now it's it's all right. We just yeah, we need something so that you can realistically cross to this side as well. I don't actually know how they managed to do that right now. Anyways, I think we've uh, detailed up this uh, modern little commercial apartment area in uh, Danson sufficiently now and uh, one more thing I'd like to add is some sort of industrial unit over here on the other side of the train tracks I think we're gonna go with this clothing factory it's a really cool asset actually now we don't produce any plastics as far as i know we produce crops and animal products but not plastics so we'll have to do that in a future episode to get the actual production ch chain running uh, which i guess should be pretty cool
All right, so Danton is starting to grow into an actual substantial town. We've more than doubled the population. Uh, but I think there's still uh, more room for a population boost here because we've also added quite a bit of workplaces. Uh, we have this huge uh, factory complex, which is situated just north of the town. Um, maybe in the future we should have some uh, industrial rail lines running into this industrial area as well. It could be kind of cool. Got the two trains crossing here. Nice. And lots of activity at the train station in general. Um, yeah, got one question for you guys. Didn't you used to be able to use like node control or something to make this um, this end of these parking lot roads flat? I, f I feel that was possible at one point. I could always cover them up with like surface networks, of course, but if one of the mods can be used, I, I just don't really know how, to be honest. Let me know if there's a really clever way of just making uh, the end here uh, straight. It's probably the right term instead of this curve. Yeah, let me know. Other than that, we need to bring down the, the bus uh, to uh, to the... I guess the new center of, uh, of Danton, it's geographically, it's not really the center of the town, um, not right now at least, but it's definitely the, the most bustling part of the town. So yeah, we'll need to, to adjust that by getting some bus service down here as well. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna grab this line and we'll need to add uh, a few more stops, I guess. And I think we could get away with adding two stops, actually. Uh, so we'll add one here. And we'll add one down here somewhere. Probably right here in the center. Just next to the train station. And I think uh, we'll add one on this side as well. So this is the, the end station. So it doesn't make much sense, I guess, to have in... Uh, two stops but we could have two stops here and add an additional one here as well although this is starting to look a bit weird maybe hmm let's just try with this and see how well that covers everything we need so we've got a stop here but the node is a little too long i feel so i'm just gonna Yes, 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 yes. Complain all you want. Just gonna segment it a bit. There you go. That makes the stop a little more segmented. And I'm gonna upgrade the roads to get the proper trees. There you go. This adds for a, a little more manageable stop, I feel. And then we added some stops down here, which will... I think it was on this custom road we made. Yeah. We added a stop here, which we're gonna need to handle. So let's just remove this filler. Uh, that's a start, I feel, because I guess this is basically where the bus station is actually located. So let's see. Usually we use this uh, this red filler here. So let's just do the same down here and follow our, our theme. And is it this node in particular? Yes, it is. Cool. So we'll make a filler. There you go. And we'll make it the red one we've used. Just adjust it ever so slightly. And then I think we're gonna we're gonna expand this uh, node just make it a bit bigger it's gonna be a little too i still want there to be cars that can park right there just want to make it a little smaller and the same this way there you go let's see if we can grab a bus stop decal uh, i was hoping Well, this looks kind of cool, to be honest. 
first step. There you go. Just remove this tree as well. We're gonna add a shelter. It's probably a prop. Yes. And if we are really strict on our detailing, we're gonna we're gonna also remove um, we're gonna remove this grass here. And I wonder what the best way to do that is. Is that by using maybe a surface network? It probably is. It's completely overkill, but yeah, we're in a we're in a detailing mood today. We're giving a small town a bit of love, so yeah, why not? Did you guys see that turn this dude just made? That's really impressive. There you go. We got ourselves a pretty dedicated bus stop now. So let's see if we if got any buses incoming. I suspect we might have to just uh, increase the amount of buses. So it's a little odd because we're actually using a different kind of bus shelter here. Um, hmm. <laughs> Oh, we're just gonna draw out a line here before we add this. Ah, this is actually the shelter, I think, that it looks more like the one we're using for trams in Port Douglas. Well, this is the one we're using over here. And I guess we should take a look and just check up on whether we need more buses on this line because it seems like it's, uh, it's been a while since we've seen a bus up here. Ah, there's no, that's a truck. So let's just grab a little look and see how busy it is. So the red line has 13 vehicles and they're running in big chunks. So I guess we could actually increase that to 17. Get some, some more vehicles on that line. And I guess one of the reasons buses aren't really making their way is that we've got a massive queue here in Pine Harbor. And I, I actually think I know why. It's probably due to some kind of tourist modifier because I've noted, yeah, look, these people, many of them are driving to entertainment hotspots and it's almost like some of these, for instance, this block service with entertainment, it's like it's attracting way too much all of a sudden. So I've had these entertainment block services and like tourism magnets for, you know, the entirety of this uh, City Skyline series, but all of a sudden they're attracting a ton of people which is just completely destroying the traffic. Um, I'll need to get this fixed. I mean, just take a look at this. This is insane. Pine Harbor is in a complete gridlock. Driving to work. Where are these people going? Why are there so many? I mean, these people are just driving to work. Or this church so the tourism modifier for this church is going absolutely crazy because like half the cars we just checked were going to the church which seems a you know it's uh i mean okay this guy is going to the toilet but whatever wesley church toilet is the toilet that okay Okay, so definitely I am I have an, a bug in my game with the tourist modifier or entertainment value or whatever, which is causing a huge gridlock. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll try to work behind the scenes on fixing that. If you had that issue yourself and you've got a fix for it, 
then uh, please let me know how you alleviate it because I've had to fix it in uh, I've had to fix it before by simply removing some of these tourism magnets and yeah that solution just doesn't feel super sustainable anyways it seems that we're gonna have to wait a bit uh, to see actual uh, buses here in in Danson because there's a bit of a gridlock in Pine Harbor currently uh, so I think the last addition we're gonna make, uh, since I don't feel we're quite done, is we're just gonna expand this area here with some more residential, just uh, really cookie cutter neighborhoods. I call this the reverse cul-de-sac. It's an art piece. But basically what you guys have seen me doing is uh, actually just making this uh, road overall smaller, just making it more narrow. And I'm hopeful that it doesn't mean that the part cars and the traffic is gonna uh, like clip a ton into each other. Um, just feel this road is a little bulky. So I'm just seeing if I can uh, just add a bit of uh, uniqueness and vari variety, sorry, by by making it uh, less bulky, basically. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see if uh, we've got uh, people clipping into each other and stuff like that. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. And if it's not going to be the case, then uh, it's uh, successful. Uh, we're going to add a bunch of trees, like always. Alright guys, let's finish off with a full recap of what we've been building. Uh, we've actually gotten a ton done in, in this episode. I was thinking of a shorter, more cozy episode with some small town vibes. But uh, yeah, um, Danton was pretty much uh, restricted to the area we can see on the screen currently as we started this episode. But we've been doing a ton of stuff. We've added uh, an an old commercial strip before the arrival of the train station. We've added a um, an elementary school as well with some light detailing. We added this um, 60s or 70s duplex area, which I think turned out pretty good uh, as well. It's not exactly a high income area, but uh, it's, not, it's not too bad either. Then of course we did quite a massive residential expansion, uh, some pretty cookie cutter uh, houses, uh, but uh, some nice ones looking as uh, some nice looking ones as well. Moving down here, we placed a train station, um, and then yeah, we took a bit of a spontaneous decision to kind of build an additional uh, commercial strip. Uh, a more modern one that has uh, slowly but surely developed around the tra train station because this is of course a, a hotbed for activity within the town 
I think this area turned out really cool. It's it's got a really distinct look. I feel with the um, yeah really modern, really low density as well. Crossing the train tracks, we've got a large. Uh, I think this is a furniture factory uh, and some warehouses as well. So a bit of an industrial area, really. And then we finished off with uh, this. Uh, older neighborhood as well, which uh, I think turned out really nice. These streets are just look at all the trees and the bushes and the flowers people have here. Um, I think it turned out really well as well with uh, narrowing this uh, this uh, suburban road. So it's going to be interesting to see how the clipping looks. But yeah, the the visual um, visually it looks really cool. I think. So I think that's it. I'm going to record some uh, juicy cinematics for you guys now. So there's uh, something pretty to look at with some good tunes to finish off the episode. If you stuck with me for this long, thank you so much for watching. Um, I would really appreciate if you would uh, like and comment on this video. It really helps it uh, reach as many people as possible and growing uh, the community we have here on YouTube. Of course, if you haven't subscribed and don't want to miss out on anything, uh, feel free to subscribe and enable all notifications. And if you just can't get enough of Conifera, I've got a Patreon page where I post sneak peeks of new episodes and I post all screenshots I take. I've posted about 550 by now. Um, so you can take a look at that if you are interested. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a really great evening. Goodbye.